this is not the first time that uh, the Kenyan government or even other governments have slammed or have blocked our products from entering into their market. In total breach of the relevant laws, like the treaty on the establishment of the East African community. Uganda is likely to lose billions of shillings if the ban on maize sale to Kenya continues. Several trucks have been seen stuck at the Kenyan borders, with the tons of maize turning into molds. Earlier this month, the Kenyan government put an embargo on the importation of Ugandan maize, citing presence of aflatoxins that cause chronic illnesses like cancer. The ban on Ugandan maize export by Kenya comes a few months after Kenya rejected Uganda's dairy products, citing quality issues. If you look at uh, Article 75 and even 76, 75 talks about the establishment of a customs union. And uh, 75C in particular talks about the, elim the elimination of non-tariff barriers. Ugandan members of parliament on the East African Legislative Assembly say this is not about food security. Uganda's maize export is just an addition to the poultry and dairy products that the Kenyan government has suppressed. We wanted mostly to ensure we have free movement of goods for people to sell their products across the region where we have a very big market. So when one country wakes up in total breach of the relevant laws and stops the importation of products from one country under the guise of saying uh, that there are aflatoxins in the maize without consulting bilaterally the other organs or other institutions in that partner state, to me it seems to be economic war. The issue here is not about aflatoxins, but the cartels that are in Kenya. Just like Kenya, Rwanda also closed the borders to Ugandan products, an issue that has since not been resolved. They used the poultry products. They started exporting Kenny chick, chicks here, and they made sure that Yuga chick collapses. So it is not an issue of standard. And you will see the same Kenya buying Ugandan maize underground, packing wunga and exporting here. So it is a political issue that we believe that Uganda must raise up a voice to solve. It should be noted that all East African partner states signed several agreements to ease business and movement, including the common market protocols, which have since remained on paper. Susan Naung and Gloria Guitabinji reporting for EBC TV.